All right, hey everybody, Kirk Vauclain here on the Pro Forum. Uh, one of the questions that was asked of me for artist artist of the month was, Kirk, how do you get those background colors to better match like the subjects? Outfit. So how am I shifting the color of the background? Well, let's open up one of those images that I did this year. And I'm going to I'm going to open up the raw file. And here it is, one of those raw images, okay? And if you notice, this background contains a lot of blue. And here's my advice to you before we go any further is that whenever you buy a background, remember that skin does not have blue in it. I don't care whether you're Caucasian or black or um, oriental. It, it just doesn't matter. There is no blue in skin. Now, if you do some of the things that I'm about to do and your skin tones are shifting, then you got bigger problems. You're getting blue from somewhere. It might be your walls or it might be, I don't know, somewhere. Now, customers do have blue eyes, so this little trick I'm about to tell you, tell you, you need to be aware of the fact whether the customer has blue eyes or not, because if they do have very blue eyes, then the eyes will also shift when you shift the blues. Now, inside your, your raw converter, in this case, uh, this is uh, Adobe Photoshop Adobe Camera Raw 6, click over here on the one, two, three, third, fourth from the left, hue and saturation and grayscale. And if you notice now there's a tab, hue, saturation, and luminance. I want you to go to the hue slider, then go down to the blues. And if you notice, when you begin to shift the blues, notice what's happening to the background. See how they all went green? Well, in this case, I want them purple. So I go all the way to the right side, and now I've shifted all of the blues in this scene to be more purple. I can then go over to my saturation slider, again, uh, taking my purples now, and I can bring those, well, in this case, it's the purple in her dress. I don't want to mess with that. I can take the blue slider, which it's still affecting those blues that are in the scene, and shifting them and make them more saturated purple. I can take my luminance slider, again, go over to my blues, make them dark purple or light purple. See how that's changing on the screen? And so by doing that, you can uh, shift those blues around to better match the color of the dress. Now, what I want to do is I'm going to cancel this at this time because this is not the only way. This is the way I'm currently doing it because anything and everything that I can do in the raw conversion produces better results. Anytime you can do something that way. But I'm going to cancel that, and I'm going to show you there is a, another way that in case you already have something, maybe you shot it in JPEG mode um, or whatever the case may be, and you have a blue background, but you did not change it as part of the raw conversion. Maybe it's something you already have and you want to mess with it. Um, anyway, here's how you do it. You open up the hue and saturation, command and control U, and that opens up hue and saturation as you can see on the, on the screen. Now these two color, colorized bars across the bottom tell you, give you some information. The top bar tells you where it is and the bottom bar tells you where it's going to become. So we change this master drop down box to anything. It doesn't matter. Watch, if I change it to yellow, it jumps here in the yellow area. If I change it over here to magenta, it jumps into the, the magenta areas. But when I come over here and click on the blue, notice that it moved it, renamed it. So it doesn't matter what you put it on as long as you click on the blue, which is what I want you to do, so as to make sure you really get the exact color that you want to shift. Now everything within this area right here in this dark gray area is a one for one pixel change. Everything in the lighter gray area is a gradual pixel change until it gets to right here, a feathering until all of this area, it's not going to affect any of these pixels or these colors. Now skin tone hangs out right here, somewhere in the red-yellow range. So we're going to increase this up till we get right up to the red area. And we're going to increase this right up until we get to the yellow area. Now notice what happens when I change my hue slider. Notice what's happening. Well, see, I got into that purple area of her dress. So I went a little too far. So let me, let me undo that, put it back to zero. And I'm going to slide this back away from the purple area. 
And because see, I don't want to do anything to her dress. I want to keep the dress, but adjust the purples. Excuse me, adjust the blues. So now you see, I can adjust the blue in the background, get it close to the dress color, increase the saturation a little bit, darken it a little bit, lighten it a little bit, get it, and just continue to mess with this until I get it right in to the dress color. Now again, notice my line at the bottom. Notice how all these pixels these colorations here are, are are not changing pixel for pixel notice this it's a gradual change and here it's a one for one any of these colors has now been changed to this color and any of these colors in the scene have now been changed to this color so that's how I do that how I can have one background say a blue background of some sort and then it can literally become millions or thousands or however many different shades of, uh, of, of colors to better match your subject. So I hope that helps someone. That's how I do it. And uh, hey, we'll see y'all on the pro forum.